innovation becoming a very important word right now, uh, both in China and internationally. So I ask a lot of people, what is innovation? Uh, a lot of Westerners told me, oh, innovation is this and innovation is that. So I read a lot of books, uh, foreigners' uh, book about innovation. So I got, aha, innovation is a big list of something. And uh, also, I try to talk with the Chinese uh, people, and the Chinese people have the, another different angle to, of innovation. And then um, I also um, talk with some managers who is a really practitioner, but they never have the theory of innovation or management. So for them to un understand the uh, holistic uh, approach of innovation is very dif difficult. You think about it if you wanted to uh, to explain to Chinese uh, CEO from Zhejiang province uh, who, who have uh, not much education or um, a, a family business. So you really need to have uh, a different way to, uh, for them to understand what it is. And also um, for foreigners, practice the innovation or management, uh, man managing a company to, uh, in China to inspire the staff uh, to be more innovative, then they probably need to think about a Chinese way uh, for people to understand. So our approach is uh, the five elements of innovation. What does that mean? Traditionally, uh, Chinese believe the world is consists by the five elements, uh, water, fire, uh, earth, metal, and water. Um, so these five elements are interconnected. They have for the generation and the um, diminishing relationship. So the traditional doctor um, diagnosis is also based on this. So um, for example, if you have a, a stomach problem, uh, Western doctor will give you a pill to fix it. Uh, however, Chinese doctor will use the Wang Wen Wen Qie, observe, learn, ask, interact with the patient to really understand what has been the problem of the past, uh, what is the problem now, and uh, is there an interconnected problem? So maybe it's not uh, caused by your stomach, it's the kidney problem. So Chinese doctor looks in uh, interconnected way. So same theory could be applied in innovation. So we reinterpret the innovation uh, in a five element. Strategy, leadership, creativity, culture, uh, yes, culture and communication. The strategy, for example, you can't just hire McKinsey to give you a strategy and then your goal is set. Your company becomes a very innovative company. No way. You can't also hire a chief innovation officer and uh, you are expecting magic will happen in your organization. Also, you can't hire a training company to, to train you to become innovative and then things are done. So, those five elements is just like a, um, a human body. You really need to exercise every day in order to gain a, a good body and a good, good health. Uh, so same theory applied in the innovation management for the corporation. So we believe the, those strategy, leadership, creativity, innovation, and the communication needed to consider uh, equally and uh, interconnected.